Hi, I'm Steve Superfan here. Uh, just going to be working on a new picture. Uh, hopefully, you're going to know what this is. Uh, it's a gonk droid. Now, I'm not actually using this gonk droid. I'm just using this to uh, get a, a guesstimate of where what needs to be done. So, uh, a new layer, and then I'm going to uh, paint it all white. Large scale, make it all white. Can't see if it's all white. There you go. Take it all the white, and then show the dunk gunk droid. And then you want to lower the opacity so we can see him. And you want to go to pen tool. Hopefully you know how to use pen tool. I hated pen tool a while ago, but uh, I just learned how to uh, use it properly. So uh, hopefully you know how, and I stupidly haven't done it right. <laughs> right now, uh, drop pass, go. That's too big. Uh, Control Z. I keep forgetting about the brush details and stuff. Uh, make it small. No, make it small. Uh, I'm gonna go with a three. Yeah, we'll go with a three. The pen tool. No, this has to path. Okay. So there we have our first line. Now I'm kind of tilting them a bit to give them sort of a different uh, look. Because this is more of a straight version where I want the uh, sort of different version, you know. I want the kind of uh, sort of uh, like a triangle kind of thing. So as soon as I finish the outline, I'm gonna pause the video because I don't know how long I'm gonna last on this. Messed up there. Control Z. Uh, Control Z is an amazing tool. Uh, just keep trying to guess where the uh, brace up would be and uh, kind of curve it off so as you can see now mine's more leaned hopefully you can see this so if we get rid of the gonk droid you can see mine's more pyramid shaped kind of thing so this goes out to uh, Brian who is actually going to give me a gonk droid which I'm chuffed at because I love the gonk droid he's just so killer and awesome guess where this would go kind of thing as mine's more of a curved thing so we just want to get all the main details in the outlines and don't worry we'll go back and fix all the different things later on Now we're just kind of trying to get the basic shape at the minute and then we're going to add all the different details hopefully when I'm finished I'm going to uh, try and save all the videos and then try and make a kind of speed painting version I can't do a speed painting whilst using Manicam, which is what I'm using to record this now. That's why I'm doing it slow rather than a full speed painting. But like I say, if all goes to plan, I will be doing a speed painting version once I record all the different parts and put them all together. So I think it's going to be kind of fun to have both versions up at the same time. 
So you can either take it easy and relax with me, or you can speed through it. Uh, with most of these uh, speed paintings, I kind of always rush to the end in any ways to see what it looks like, and then rewatch it, which is kind of weird. So I think we've got the basic shape there. Add some small details into his main part. What are you doing? That was weird. Uh, add another coupling here. I don't know if the pitch I got is a replica or it's homemade. I can't remember there being this many couplings on the gonk droids. As I say, the gonk droid is probably my favourite droid because it's so weird and I just love how it just goes bang, bang, bang. It's just epic. SHUT UP BIRD! Sorry for that, I have the most arsehole birds in the world. Give me a look at what we got. Yep, yeah, that's pretty epic. Uh, so, I'm going to stop it there and continue it in a sec.